Uh, this evening, I'm going to be talking about a history moment, and I'm going to be doing more of an introduction to, uh, to some memoirs. It's an introduction to some memoirs of Joseph D. Clark, and the, it's about the re uh, recollections of Boone's Creek prior to 1920. Tonight, I'm talking, uh, I, am st I am starting the history moment series of memories concerning rural people and their complex activities in Upper East Tennessee before 1920. These memories, memoirs will demonstrate that to succeed during those times required ambition, stamina, practical know-how. The farmer had to understand the numerous relationships of his entire operation and thus become a jack of all trades. However, he was not to be act alone. He had to know his neighbors, his way of life, both had to relate to the community, its economy, social views, and history. The interlocking status of the farmer and those living in the rural community did not have the parallel that they have in towns. Those folks often have narrow restricted by, by their occupation or their profession interests, such as working in factories, producing one sort of goods or another, or one profession, or raising little, if any, of their food, wearing factory-made clothes, or renting or owning a home, once often built by others. The city person did have difficult problems, but never the maximum endured by the land dweller. Furthermore, he missed the great delivery of rural enterprises and the natural earthly humor of the countryside. To illustrate the Boone's Creek community before 1920, we have had uh, have previously given during history moments examples of artifacts. We've named individuals and families who have helped create our community as it is today and have given history of many houses and businesses in the community. However, the best way to further illustrate the life of our community would be consider the memoirs of prominent members of the community. What is a memoir? Well, uh, it is a historical account or biographical a reference to personal knowledge or, of, or specific resources that we have. It contains things about the period of, that we have in our life, lessons learned, and key moments that shaped how we are today. Uh, over the few history moments, I hope to provide stories from memoirs of a, a prominent Boone's Creek family, as you will certainly relate to your own experiences and the stories having many connections to the current families of the community. Specifically, we have in our museum article a, a publication which I have here. It is a publication by Joseph D. Clark. He was one of 13 children of the prominent Dr. Joseph Lee Clark and his wife Susan, or Sudi they called her, Crouch Clark. Dr. Clark was born in Washington County in 1855 and died in 1926. He and his wife married in 1875 upon his completion of medical training at Louisville, Kentucky, and his return home. He was listed in Washington County as a physician in 1880 and practiced there until his death. We have discussed Dr. Clark many times in previous history moments, many of them from our Ed Bowman, who is sitting here tonight. Joseph D. Clark was one of the oldest sons of Dr. Clark's 13 children. He was a brother of Boone Clark. Boone was the father of Lois Clark Bowman, being Ed Bowman's mother. Dr. Clark's youngest child, Edgar Clark, was born in 1904. Uh, he was actually Vicki Shell's grandfather, and therefore Joseph D. Clark was both Ed Bowman and Vicki Shell's great uncle and Dr. Clark was a great grandfather. So we can relate these memoirs to people, not only in the community, but to people here with this Opry. Joseph D. Clark went to Harvard and Oxford in England. He became a chairman of the English department in North Carolina State in Raleigh for decades until his retirement. Vicki Shell relays that her family lived in Raleigh for 20 years growing up and Uncle Joe D. Clark had a big impact on her because he loved history and he encouraged her to know the family history. In 1980, Joseph Clark wrote an 80-page publication and, and forwarded it to 
four of his nieces, including Lois Bowman, which was Ed's mother. It was entitled The Memoirs and Anatomy of an East Tennessee Community, which was Boone's Creek. Uh, it covered uh, his recollections of various social activities in or near Boone's Creek. Uh, he asked his nieces to keep copies for their children and stay, let it stay in Boone's Creek and it stay in, in our archives, in our museum. Aside from Dr. Clark and his wife, Karen, and love their 13 children, Joseph Clark, a memoir that illustrates how his parents also cared for and loved their neighbors, a general characteristic of families in the community. The areas which we'll be covering in history moments include the economy, education, religion, philosophy, health, law and order, recreation, popular beliefs, and myths. We can get into these areas in upcoming history moments, but as for tonight, history moment has been simply to raise your interest in memories in the life of Boone's Creek prior to 1920. Thank you.